Right now, we're with Dr. Ming Tao Jiang at the uh, Chinese American Convention in Washington. So I heard that you are one of the organizers for this event, right? Yes, uh, I had the task of for fundraising for the current uh, uh, conference, and uh, we are also a gold sponsor of this event. Uh, we are also the biggest sponsor in the last, the first inaugural convention, 20, 2016. So why why you are so passionate about this one? Uh, we want to make this uh, America a better place for us and for our generations to come. As you see, the current U.S.-China uh, dispute uh, affects our daily life and may impact our future generations as well. So we want to do something, and we have a. Uh, we had the responsibility and uh, passion to get it done. Okay. Uh, so tell us, and uh, you are you have your own business. I heard that you started your business. Uh, you know, in the interesting story. <laughs> yes, uh, I was trained a uh, physician, uh, a medical doctor in China, and uh, obtained my doctorate in physiology in Canada. So we came to Wisconsin in 1996. So we have been here ever since. Uh, and about 2009, 2010, I switched track to, became, to become a Jensen farmer. So Jensen farmer? Exactly. Uh, Jensen farmer with a medical background. <laughs> so what what's, uh, what's makes that medical background and doing the Jensen farmer, you know, uh, what, what, what that makes that special? OK. Uh, now, as a medical scientist and doctor, uh, so that's more like the treatment side of the issues. Uh, as a Jensen grower, so we, it's a health tonic, right? So it's more like prevention side. So to make people feel better and make them stronger. But your business is doing good, so when you are become successful and you use your income, your money, to support something you feel truly meaningful about, right? Uh, I have to say we have been always active in supporting our local communities uh, in Wisconsin and now nationally for different uh, Chinese media as well as uh, an event like this. So we encourage our community to get involved uh, in the civic life of the in, in the U.S. I will want to be uh, at the table, not on the manual. Uh, so this conference that we are at the table and you are at the table. So what do you, well, when we are on this position and uh, what do you see the most important issues that we should uh, be aware, aware of? Uh, you know, we Chinese to tend to take care of ourselves, right? Thinking, uh, thinking that things will take care of ourselves as well, but it doesn't work that way. And this is a multi-ethnic democracy, so we had to have our voice heard by the mainstream community. And this is the first step, that is to get involved in the American civic life, civic life and political landscape. So how do you see in the next five or ten years and you and your children uh, want to live in uh, this environment and the community? Um, you know, we have, as, as a community, we have to remember where we came from and where we know where we're going. So we need to be watchful for things that are detrimental to the fundamental interests of our community, like anti-immigration policy. So we have to make sure, or at least voice, uh, our vo make our voice heard in to the elected officials. And sh we should ha also have our own elected officials to, uh, to, be, to contribute to this country, to make this a better place for us to live. So what have you done to make this happen? Uh, apart from uh, supporting our community organizations, uh, we are also trying to reach to the average uh, Americans, for example. Uh, since last year, we have launched a 10-year, 10, 10 million free seas program to support uh, about 3,000 American Jensen uh, forest farmers so to, to grow Jensen in the woods. Now, of course, this is a 20-year project. Now, who in the end benefits from that? Apart from the farmers, we support also the Chinese, we the Chinese, by the Jensen, right? So we try to do the things, little things at a time. Uh, so wonderful. So uh, we are talking here and as a background <laughs> with a Chinese medical doctor and become a farmer. Um, a Jensen um, farmer. Jensen farmer. At that, the, at that turning point, and uh, what is the biggest challenge for you? Uh, 
from academic background, uh, from professor, right, turned to farming and uh, entrepreneurship, it a, was a totally different game. So we had to learn things from scratch, such as uh, acquisition of land, and learn how to operate the machinery, and work really hard on it. And then we had to market our products. Yes, it, it, it did have lots of challenges, but uh, uh, with the support of our community, so we have been very successful. And it's, our, it's our, also our time to give back to the community, so we feel obligated to do that. You know, when you are talking about support from community and giving back to the community, and so what is the community for most of the people, and what does this mean to you? Uh, by community, we mean our Chinese American community, our Asian American community. Uh, we have uh, increased, uh, for example, created job opportunities for uh, people of Chinese descent or local Hmong population in our area. Uh, we have uh, supported uh, many media outlets, Chinese media outlets, and election campaigns of uh, public uh, of those uh, seeking public offices in our community. Thank you so much for the great job Thank and supporting for this. Thank you, Danny. It's a nice pleasure. It's nice meeting you.